Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is a sovereign gold bonds. So students, what are sovereign gold bonds? So there are hardly two or three important questions which are actually repeated most of the times from this particular topic. And it is very, very important for Bank of Maharashtra journalist officer exam, right? So students, if you want to invest your money in stocks, right? What do you do? You open a DMAT account, right? You just uh, buy the stocks. If you, you can buy mutual fund units or ETFs, right? You can do FDs in the bank. But what about gold? If you want to invest in gold, then how do you can buy the gold in the physical format, right? You go to a you know proper jeweler, you can buy the gold there or even the banks are selling gold coins, gold coin karid low, yeah, jewelry karid low, right? But the government of India came up with a really amazing plan because Indians love gold. Hum logo gold baut pasand hai. Because we trust gold. I mean the value of gold never goes down by you know huge margins the way stocks goes down stock prices 25-30% niche chale jate hain 40% 50% sometimes 90% yes bank ka example hai so sovereign gold bonds basically you are investing in gold okay the government it launches the these sovereign sgbs or sovereign gold bonds what is for you you invest in these sovereign gold bonds RBI launches or releases the sovereign gold bonds on behalf of government of India. RBI launch karta hai on behalf of on behalf of government of India. And what is for you? Aapko kya milta hai? So first of all, benefit to you, you get 2.5% interest. Aapko 2.5% interest milta hai plus Whatever the price of gold, price of gold, for example, you buy today at the rate of 53,000 and when you sell the your bonds, it is let's say 70,000. So uh, you'll get the your money back at the rate of 70,000 70, plus interest you are getting. Okay. And then the tax benefits, we are going to discuss whatever the tax benefits are, whatever the limits are, we are going to discuss today. Okay. Uh, we are going to discuss in form of quizzes. Okay, so sovereign gold bonds are government securities denominated in grams of gold <coughs> released by Reserve Bank of India on behalf of government of India. So this is a substitute for holding gold in physical format. Okay, investors, they have to pay, pay the issue price in cash and bonds will be redeemed on maturity. <coughs> maturity pe jo hai redeem kar sakte hai lekin you can redeem that or you can sell these bond in secondary market on your Zerodha account or your DMAT account you can sell this okay there are buyers there are sellers so you can sell it in the secondary market the bond is issued by RBI on behalf of government of India okay what is the minimum denomination for which uh, sovereign gold bond is issued it is one gram minimum one gram jo denomination hai uspe sovereign gold bond issue kare jate hai. and what is the rate of interest i have already told you 2.5 percent and interest is uh, credited to the savings bank account in a half yearly basis so after every six months the interest would be credited to the investors account okay what is the tenure of bonds issued under sovereign gold bonds so Kya tenure hai? It is eight years. Eight years ka jo hai tenure. If you hold the bond for eight years, the money that you will get, it would be tax free. Koi capital gain tax nahi lagega. Kisi tarikhe ka koi bhi tax nahi lagega. Okay. What is the minimum number of years after which premature redemption is allowed under sovereign gold bond scheme? See students, after five years, after five years, you can go to RBI because RBI ne launch kiya hai. You can go to RBI and you can uh, redeem these bonds. But before five years, if you need your money, 
you can go to the secondary market the stock exchanges and you can sell these sovereign gold bonds okay obviously uh, you have to take some uh, you know loss a discount but this is a possibility you should know that what is the maximum limit on cash payment allowed under the sovereign gold bond 20,000 I guess yeah 20,000 is allowed up to 20,000 you can make cash payments after that it is not allowed sovereign very important question sovereign gold bonds are issued by RBI on the behalf of government of India very important question very common question in the exam interest on the bonds is however taxable under the income tax act interest taxable hai capital gain tax nahi lagta agar 8 saal baad aapne aapka redeem hua hai mature hua hai maximum amount of quantity uh, that can be bought by an individual or an huf that is 4 kg ek individual ya huf 4 kg tak kharid sakta hai taxation of sovereign gold bond very important topic let me just hide myself please note that uh, Exam in ABI is also important. Hai. Interest is taxable anyways. What about the capital gain? In case of uh, the holding period is less than three years. In case the holding period is less than three years, uh, you go to the stock exchange and you sell your sovereign gold bond and somebody bought it. Okay. Then you have to pay short term capital gain. If the holding period is less than three years, then you need to pay short term capital gain tax. Okay. As per the normal tax labs. But if you hold that, uh, you know, any gain earned with the holding period of more than three years is treated as long term capital gain and tax is chargeable at flat rate of 10% per uh, in case index indexation benefit is not opted and in case indexation benefit is opted then it is 20% tax rate has to be paid okay so what is indexation I hope you are aware of the indexation but income agar nahi aware ho, income tax department they releases a proper table right uh, I mean to adjust the prices uh, for inflation and index is shown or uh, a year wise numbers are given right so you can adjust your uh, asset cost price according to the inflation so yeah you can you know adjust according to the inflation and if you are taking that benefit 10 percent if you are not taking uh, uh, that benefit in case uh, if, if you're not taking the benefit then uh, uh, you have to pay 10 percent tax if you if the indexation benefit is availed then 20 percent okay uh, and if you hold the sovereign gold bonds for eight years till maturity if you hold then it is tax free okay then it is tax free the exemption is only available to individual taxpayer and not other categories like huf and trust and if an individual holds the hold these uh, uh, sovereign gold bonds till maturity hold then it is totally tax free no capital gain tax. so students uh, bank of maharashtra journalist officer 2022 2023 course it's available on bankexams.com we are providing complete coverage of the syllabus. This includes uh, video classes, notes, test series, live sessions, quizzes. You can just drop a WhatsApp message and we are going to answer you. All the links are available in the description. Check the description, join the course, list of our successful students who took uh, our courses in the previous years, all these students who took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for all of them. The Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2022, RRB Scale 2 2020, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I am really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.